bring the action. What's up, YouTube? Jmod back at Arby's for two new menu items. I'm looking forward to this, guys. Let me tell you what we got here first. We got the Big Game Burger for $8.49. And the six-piece Hot Honey Barbecue Boneless Wings in a small fry for five bucks. Or you can get it without the french fries for a penny less. So for one penny, I'm getting the french fries. I'm all for it. Grand total with tax, $14.64. It's a little on the expensive side, but guess what? We've got like two meals here. Venison elk burger, big eye Swiss, Swiss cheese, crispy onion strings, pickles, cherry steak sauce on a brioche bun. Sounds good to me, guys. Let's see what we got here. The bag. The big game burger. Crinkle fries. Hot honey barbecue chicken. Wings, tenders, nuggets. Who knows? Bonus fries. Oh my, I almost forgot. The crisp, the clean. The invisible napkin. Not so crisp and not so clean, by the way. All right, these french fries look... Oh, it's busy, you know. French fries are uh, French. They're fried. I should have got... I didn't get any napkins, by the way. But who needs napkins when you have an invisible one? All right. I think I'm gonna start with the hot honey barbecue chicken tenders first. I think I should have brought some gloves. They are swimming in that hot honey barbecue sauce. Wow. Wow. These are really good. Maybe I could dip my french fries into this sauce. There's going to be some extras here. Believe it or not, even though it's sitting, it's swimming in a pool of honey barbecue sauce, it's still crispy. Ooh, it's spicy too. It's spicy. It's sweet. It's tangy. Tangy kind of means citrusy, um, spicy, um, live, lively, lively. I don't know, it's not a word you can describe. It's a word you taste when you eat these chicken barbecue wings. Mm. Man. Very messy. I have a guy in front of me. Also, I, I, I forget when I come to Arby's, and you use the app, you have to go inside to grab your food. They don't do it in the drive-thru, even though it'd be very easy for them to do it at the drive-thru, you'd think. Um, to make you walk in the store, there's a pickup area. Well, these, there's these two older gentlemen in front of me. And the guy asked, he just gets his food. Goes to the table. Minute, minute goes by, he goes back to the... Uh, Arby's employee and says, where's the ketchup? And the guy's like, right there. Like they get the self-serve ketchup thing. So you pump the things in the little containers, little paper cups. He goes back. A minute later, comes back again. Where's the forks? The guy's like, right there next to the ketchup. This guy's a stinking knucklehead. These two guys, I'll tell you. Place is busy, really busy too. Goes back to his seat. Comes back a minute later. Can you make me more French fries? These French fries aren't that good. I want a fresh batch. This isn't your five star Chef Ramsay steakhouse. This is Arby's, okay? I got a friend named Tom. Hey, Tom. Who will not be going to Arby's because every time he goes, he has a bad, bad um, experience. 
But if you want to see Tom have a bad experience at his local Arby's in Colorado, leave a, leave a comment below. Look at all that. The big game burger, guys, right here in this aluminum foil line package. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what we got. It looks really good. And if it's like the Wagyu burger, it's gonna taste really good. Will it taste gamey? Let's find out. My mouth is a little bit warm from that uh, spice. Loud pipes save lives. Not as juicy as the uh, Wagyu burger. Good flavor though. So you have two, kind of, two types of Swiss. You got plain Swiss and big eye Swiss. I think big eye Swiss is probably just Swiss with bigger holes, right? So you have venison, elk, and beef. I don't know what the split is, but I think it's like a 50% beef, 50% um, elk and venison. Don't hold me to that because I'm not a, a no expert. I'll, if it's something different, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, cherry steak sauce. The cherry sauce is sweet like a barbecue sauce. I think steak sauce, I think A1, but it doesn't have an A1 flavor to it. It just tastes like, it just tastes sweet, you know, like a cheat. Yeah. It's kind of like, like maybe cherry syrup, maybe a little bit of crunch from the uh, onion rings, which is good. You can see it's not dry. It's not wet. It's not dry. It's not moist. It's kind of right there in the middle. It's warm. Um, it's a good flavor. It's a good flavored. Uh, it's a good flavored burger. It's not the kind of burger where, like right now, I'm like, I got to come back here next week and have it again because it's that good. It's more in the, like, you just want something different. Yeah, it's worth good. It's worth trying. It's, it's a good burger. Nothing, there's nothing great about it. There's nothing bad about it. I like that Arby's, I like that Arby's is uh, trying something new though. This is, this is good. You know, it's not like, oh, this new sandwich would, all they do is like, you know, a new sauce and a piece of bacon and they call it something new. This is something new. So I commend Arby's on trying something new. It's a good burger. It's not, it's not like go out and get it. But if you're into game meat, I think you're going to like it. If you're not into game meat, it doesn't taste gamey, you know, which really isn't a word, but. I think people know what gamey f meat tastes like. I am so full. I am so full. This is a you want a full <laughs> you want a filling meal. I think I still got the French fries. I'm not, that, French fries are going in the trash. I'm not gonna eat them. No offense. They're fine. I'm just full. I say if you're on the fence, you're like, ah, should I try it? Maybe, maybe not. I'd say go out and try it. Um if no one buys this, guess what? Arby's won't try some more of these crazy new things, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure these were cooked just like the Wagyu burgers where they just throw that beef patty right in the fry later. And uh, it's good. it sounds good to me. Fried beef, oh, so good. The chicken, the hot honey barbecue chicken, that was really good. That was really good. Um, the burger was, was good, but it wasn't great. It wasn't like... You know, I would say, run, don't walk to your lo local Arby's. No, no, no. It's good. Try it if you're on the fence. Um, and if you're brave, you know, try something new, you know? Like uh, Brainstorm always says, you know? Um, Today's a good day to have a good day. Or that's what someone else says. The fluffy bearded man says. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hey. Like, share, and subscribe. Please. I love you! And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.